You know, it wasn't so long ago that Seattle symbolized, wait for it, grunge. And all that came along with it, the flannel, the distorted guitars, and the oblique lyrics of 20-something middle-class angst. But all that's beginning to change because the city's made a name for itself with an increasingly eclectic scene that isn't so easy to sum up with just one word. Here's a pie profile of Fierce Bill. I ain't been, I gotta be. You're my creator, there is nothing greater The center of my world, equator I thank you, I can never pay you back for what you did for me But I can start by saying I love you A lot of hip-hop artists, they're putting on this fake, this fake character And they have to go by that, you know, they have to like live that Me, when you see Fierce, like you're literally seeing the same guy that would be coming out, you know, picking up his daughter from school or going to the store Like, I don't have nothing to hide my name is Fearsville, and I'm a MC, a hip hop artist in the Seattle area. Grew up in a Holly Park, which was like an area where you know a lot of people who didn't have the most money lived. My brothers was really caught in the streets. Then we actually moved over by Othello, where we actually got our first house, and uh, that's where I grew up until my uh, dad left. And when my dad left, that's when like, we kind of just started heading to the outskirts. So uh, yeah, so we ended up in Renton and that's where I went to school and yeah, that's where I became a rapper. People say you look just like your dad. You got his laugh, you got his walk, you got his talk, but I don't got his heart. No, I'm much stronger. But I was the youngest of four boys, so it was either kind of do where we know what they were doing or, you know, find something else to, you know, get my mind focused off of all the bad that was happening. And, you know, luckily music was that thing that kind of saved me. Like, I truly think music saved my life. Working hard without lunch breaks, I must say, it frustrates me so much. I'm up late and I don't have enough say. One, two, one, two. Yeah, a lot of lyrics from the actual Let It Be song um, is based off of me getting things off my chest and helping me get over stuff. Uh, me and my dad, you know, now we have a great relationship, but at that point in time, when I first, first written those, those lyrics, I was trying to, like, get something off my chest. So these are some of my rap books from about, gosh, like, seven to ten years ago. So it's almost like, you know, capturing time on paper. Oh, wow, I actually found the, uh, the lyrics to Let It Be when I first wrote the song. A victim of a man that substitute his mouth for his hand. So when he talk, you hear a blam, damn. See, my father figured that my mom should be the father figure. And he'll leave with some bottle liquor. But my mama never stopped her until he start to pop a quicker. Then she called for the cops to get him. And I'm like, one, two, one, two, is the mic gone? Cause y'all ain't feeling A lot of people can't relate exactly what I'm talking about, but they would like to hear the experience because they can somehow reflect on what they're going through. So that's when I started realizing what, what how powerful hip hop is. You know, it's, it's, it's a lot, it's painted to be, you know, it can be painted to some people as being a bad thing that, you know, gangster rap and all that. And that's not the only form of hip hop. There's different ways of expressing yourself and helping people out with it, so. Uh, uh, this my day job, okay, pass, so lay off till I'm paid off. You want an artist to be who they really are, and Fierce has grown into this artist where he's a more personal, more showcasing his willingness to uh, not be scared to be who he is, in a sense. And I just approach the music differently when working with him uh, due to that reason, you know? So San Fran, that's supposed to be a real big one, the one at Slims. That might be a real big star. How many of them did he say were sold out already? I'm not sure. I think they're all like close. He Every dollar that comes in from music, I pay bills with. I'm not buying fancy things and trying to act like I'm doing something bigger than, you know, what I really am. We've released a record uh, called Let It Be. You know, we did some work over at KXP and did it in studio. We're heading on tour with Grease coming up pretty soon. And, you know, everybody who has done something out of Seattle, they really worked hard to get that. It wasn't like someone walked in and was like, oh, you rap? Okay, we're going to get you on. Like. That's not how it works, especially not around here. So I think we are humble and we know that, you know, it takes a lot of work to go into the craft and that you're only gonna get in what you put out, you know, so. I can never be paid, but I can show you why I appreciate you. I can never be paid, but I can show you why I appreciate you. I can never be paid, but I can show you why I appreciate you. And the best mama war. 
Fierceville will be touring later this month with Greaves. You can find out more at yucktheworld.com.